Attention to technical details spells success for the Presti Piper's new Swift Fury. One such innovation is the manually controlled ram boost valve, which allows induction air to bypass the filter, thereby increasing engine horsepower and speed. This innovative spirit began a year ago in a series of technical staff meetings at Lepresti Piper. What I want is an airplane that's so good and so fast, people will hardly believe it. A cruise of 200 miles an hour is a minimum goal. Nothing else is going to do for me. I think it needs to be very robust. It is a sport plane. Certainly, six Gs positive and three negative need to be built into the structure. Like a fighter, like you can take anything. But we've got to keep it light and stiff. I want to design a dynamite cockpit. I'd like to put all the important switches right on the throttle and stick. Well, that's where they should be. I'd like to try a curved instrument panel that'll reduce parallax. That's a very good idea. Now, I'd also like to try pumping some cool air right through the seat to help keep the occupant cool. And speed brakes really need to be an option on this airplane. We want everything about this airplane to say class. This airplane must radiate quality. Flush riveting, butt jointed skins, fit and finish perfect. Everything on this airplane's got to fit like a bee's butt to a daisy. Now this airplane should have the best control system anyone has ever seen. Low friction, no backlash, no downspring. Should have roller bearings throughout. Uh, the only thing the pilot should feel is the aerodynamic load on the surfaces. Safety is terribly important. Let's provide a redundant brake system just like in a modern car. Two completely isolated and independent brake systems. So if one brake system fails, the other still gives you good brake control. Hey, let's talk about color of this airplane now. The shell plane needs to be a special color. It needs to be a grabber. How about this color? You know, guys, knowing what to do is, is terribly important, but making it happen is even more important. And the question before us is, can we really make this airplane happen? Well, has a frog got a tail about that long? Hello. I'm Roy Lepresti. Together with Stuart Millar, we formed Lepresti Piper Aircraft Engineering Corporation. The purpose of this company is to develop new, beautiful, exciting airplanes, airplanes you're bound to fall in love with. Our first new airplane, called Swift Fury, is flying today. This airplane cruises well over 200 miles an hour. It's a very exciting airplane. It's the product of a great deal of engineering intuition, a lot of hard work, and a little bit of luck. Our goal in life is to be the undisputed leader in developing fast, beautiful, exciting airplanes. Kurt Lepresti, our project engineer on Swift Fury, and the test pilot for this airplane, will now show you the airplane. Hi. My job is to lead a group of talented technicians and engineers in the development of the new Swift Fury. One of our early investigations was with the help of computational aerodynamics to reduce airplane drag. We work with John Ronce of Gemini Technology to investigate the pressure fields around our airplane. We explored 27 different configurations that offered promise of drag reduction. Here is a computational aerodynamic view of Swift Fury shown at the top of the screen and the original Swift shown at the bottom. Air pressures on the airplane surfaces are shown in color, red being low pressure and blue being high pressure. Remember, low pressure means high velocity and high pressure means low velocity. The rapid change of color around the canopy on the old Swift shown at the bottom of the screen means that the pressures are changing rapidly as the air flows around the canopy. In general, rapid changes in pressure excursions result in high drag. Computational aerodynamics was used to determine how to reshape Swift Fury so that the pressure changes are very gradual. The Swift Fury canopy has been reshaped with this technique and the results show a marked reduction in drag. This three-quarter view shows very dramatically how the pressure changes over the Swift Fury have been reduced when compared to the original Swift. The drag reduction changes developed with these computational aerodynamic techniques include a reshaped canopy, a high technology cowling with greatly reduced cooling drag, a retractable tail wheel, fully enclosed main gear, a large wing fillet, a slight change in wing position, 
flush riveting throughout. Elimination of the abrupt break in the sides of the fuselage. Elimination of corrugated skins. Elimination of the fixed slots in the wing. These changes resulted in a 37% reduction in airplane drag. A great deal of attention has been paid to the inside of the airplane as well. Let's go to the cockpit and see. On the HOTAS throttle we have located recognition lights, landing lights, cow flap, outside light kill switch, wing flap, and speed brakes. Near the throttle are located the fuel boost pump switch and the fuel selector. For safety reasons, the fuel selector has been designed without an off position. A separate emergency fuel cutoff has been provided. On the control stick are located the following switches. Pitch trim, ident, autopilot kill switch, and microphone. By curving the instrument panel, we have reduced parallax, which provides for a more accurate instrument reading. We have placed the circuit breakers on the right side of the panel on a sloping 45 degree face for easy identification. Before we fly, let me show you some additional drag reducing items. Here the landing gear is getting stowed in the wing with a series of doors that reduce the airplane's drag during flight and also via a sequencing valve reduce the drag of the landing gear well when the gear is down and locked. The new tail wheel is retractable, which reduces drag. In its extended position, it's three inches taller than the Globe Swift, which makes for better over-the-nose visibility and better landing characteristics. The new flaps have hinges that are covered with aerodynamic fairings that greatly reduce the flap drag during deployment and during cruise. Let's go fly this Hummer. At Lopresti Piper, we squeeze out every last drop of performance. We have designed a ram boost valve that is controlled by the pilot. When activated, this ram boost valve permits engine induction air to bypass the filter, which creates more horsepower and more speed.
Swift Fury's lines have been skillfully chosen to emphasize the airplane's sporty character. The shape of the cowling, the flowing lines of the canopy, the wing fillets that bring to mind the British Spitfire, and the curving vertical tail that's reminiscent of the Curtis P-40 all go hand in hand to establish this airplane's wonderful character. Flying this airplane is sort of like falling in love for the first time. It is simply unbelievably good. You fly this airplane with your fingertips. You imagine the wings are simply extensions of your arms. You're not flying in an airplane. You yourself are flying. To me, this airplane is not an inanimate vehicle. It's alive. It's a friend. It's a lover. It's incredible. Simply incredible. Please don't cast your life with those timid souls who may never experience the joys of flight that only an exceptional airplane will provide. Don't let your life and opportunity pass you by. Reach for it. It can be yours. It should be yours. You've earned your wings. Now graduate to a level of flying pleasure you've always dreamed of. And do it now.